Hey, welcome to the Pizza Tea channel, man. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Actually, wait. Make sure you want to because I don't need people subscribing and finding out, oh, I'd subscribe to a channel that's random. Dude, I've been here for 17 years, dude. I'm an OG YouTuber. I'm going to shut up right now and give you the crazy eye. All right, let's go ahead and start this. Well, first, I just want to say we're talking about the inflation rate in the inflation rate of the USA versus Argentina, because I heard theirs went up by 150%. Oh, my God. I, th I was like, what? Dude, we went up way more than that. Or am I wrong? So I'm going to blast you with some music. Let's go. Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Tupac. Seco, and I'm coming from Los Angeles, California, city of angels. Let me tell you guys today, I'm so excited. Happy as fuck, nigga, the fuck to be alive. With my nigga, Pizza T. Sharing this amazing, glory, super, and exciting. Moment of my life with all the bitches and hoes for reals, nigga. Sending love out to all the fakest niggas and every part of Dutch Jews. If you ain't connected, then you ain't shit, nigga. Grab a moon bag of Dutch Connect and let's ride. Dutch. All right, guys. So I pulled it up here. Yes, this is the Pizza Tea channel. The OG original. I've been around longer than whatever his name is. Penguin Zero was on Penguin Zero's channel. Been been around longer than um, Mr. Beast, but that's an easy one to, d to destroy. And Mr. Beast, I think he should be in prison. Uh, people are talking about SS Sniper. Dude, he's been doing that shit for years, dude. He totally fucking fucked me, dude. He pulled me over. He bent me over, excuse me, and did like this. Bam, bam, bam. Ouch. And it hurt, dude. But I ain't stopping, dude. I'm ready. I'm ready, dude. I'm an OG YouTuber. They love me at, at YouTube in San Francisco, right? Because I'll bend over for them because I know what they like. I know San Francisco. I'm all about that. I'm all about that, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, 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 oh, everybody. My name is Dupont. All right, here we go. And so look right here, guys. You gotta, you gotta be kidding me. I was, I was watching something uh, like the news, and they're like Argentina's inflation this year went up 150 percent. Where the fuck did it go? And what, I, what? It's like 150 percent. We went up more than that. We went up more than that. Look at this. Look at this right here. It says, as of October 2023, the inflation rate in the United States was 3.20 percent, down from 3.70 percent. In September 2023, you're telling me everything went up 3%? 3%? Are you serious? You, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. That's not true. It depends on what you're looking at here. So let's just, let's just look at some prices real quick. Happy Meal cost, let's just go 2019. I know people are like, oh, but we're 2022. Like the Happy Meal price. You know, happy, happy cost, happy meal price, happy meal cost 2019. What did it cost for happy meal in 2019, right? As of November 2023, the average cost of a happy meal at McDonald's restaurant is $3.76. Okay. In California, it's $5 in like 50 cents or, uh, you know, around that to $6. I've seen it more than that. So, um right here if i i scroll down but in 2019 if we can get the cost of it in 2019 you know it, it was a dollar 99 all right guys just how it is it was a dollar 99 for the cost of it so you know i don't got time for this video right now dude i just want you guys to subscribe and be, and be one with me and one with jesus and one with god and one with Mohammed, and one with Allah, one with the Jews, one with the Palestinians, one with the Iranians. But let's not go to war. Let's all just be the same thing. Let's be the. Let's get rid of all of our flags, and and then we'll make a new one. And it's called Earth, right? I'm gonna have to side with Ronald Reagan here. This video is stupid. Basically, the cost of a Happy Meal was a dollar ninety nine a few years ago. Now it's six dollars. All right, let's just go with that. That means that was a 300%, 300% we have inflated in three years. In the last year, it's definitely over, you're saying 3%. You can't trust anything that the internet says, dude, except for me, right? I'm the most honest dude on the internet, and that's another reason why you should subscribe. You should also subscribe because I made this awesome 
Tupac video right here. Hey, 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 right everybody. Here. My name is Tupac. Hey. Seco. Right. And you know what's up, dude. So what I'm saying is this. All right, let's just get right to the point. This was this is a ridiculous video. And, and so if you want to be able to save money right now, you better be willing to dig through uh, trash cans and get receipts. You know what I'm saying? And no, I, you know, I, know, I just went, a uh, stupidest thought went through my head. These videos, they go in all close to you, you know, like, because that's what YouTube tells people to do. Well, guess what? Quit being a little bitch and subscribe to my channel. Just do it. Just be real with Jesus. Be real with God. Forgive Satan. Just let everybody. We're all together. We're all a team. The Muslims, the Jews, the Palestinians, the Irish, and the Northern Irish, the North Koreans. We're all one. We're all earth. We have a, a, a common interest, which is earth, okay? And I, what I don't get to is, like, I'm pretty sure that trees live off of what the cars put out. So we need to uh, plant more trees. It's that simple. But let me explain something. This is really quick because people don't understand Bitcoin. And what, what's going on with Bitcoin is this. Is it's the opposite of what the what this money that they print up is the complete opposite. And the only argument that I've heard from people that's not even a good argument, but their their best argument against Bitcoin is solar flares. There will be a solar flare, in which will take out your Bitcoin. Dude, no, no, no. And a solar flare would only get if there, that that's never. I don't even think a solar flare has ever happened on Earth. That's absolutely absurd. So you're saying a solar flare is why you're not going to use cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. Okay. That makes my nose itch. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why are you so stupid? It sounds like Y2K. Y2K. You gotta be kidding me! All right, so let me, let me just get to the point. Uh, Argentina, they're just honest about their inflation. Our inflation's like the exact same. It's the same around the world. It's complete nonsense. It's not fair. So and the reason why this is is because they can print up dollars, and then they just print up. Then they just print up money, and in, in, in the United States, they're printing up money like crazy, and then they send it to people to blow up other people. Then you find out, like, did we blow up the Nordic pipe stream pipeline or whatever? Did we blow these things up or did did Russia blow it up? Who blew it up? What's going on? It's not okay to be dishonest. I'm not trying to say who did what, but I'm just trying to say that 3% inflation rate on the dollar is a lie, in my opinion. It's it's just in the last year, it's got it easily, depending on where you're at or, for, or what you're exactly talking about, it has gone up 100%. In the last three years, it's gone up 300%. All right, so with uh, this is how cryptocurrency works. At least Bitcoin. There is only going to be 21 million Bitcoin ever in existence. When it first started, the 21 million Bitcoins, you can imagine it, it's like in an escrow, right? And the first person to mine any Bitcoin or to get any Bitcoin out of that was Satoshi Nakamoto. I could be a little off on this, but that's kind of the, the gist of it. And so people were asked to use their computers to help make transactions happen. And when you make transactions happen, you get rewarded in Bitcoin, fresh new Bitcoin that get put into the market out of that 21 million, right? So a lot of people, when they first started doing it, when it came out, it wouldn't be unheard of to get like four to maybe 40 Bitcoin in a day, depending on your processing power of your computer. Of course, Bitcoin was worth like, what, five cents to 50 cents, maybe $5, Okay, it was a pipe dream, right? Uh, but it was a pipe dream, of a pipe full of really good smoke, right? And so this time you were not getting ripped off. It was not CBD. It was full of THC, my brothers and sisters of Jesus and Mohammed, because we're all one. We're all one. And Satan, come on in too, buddy. You're forgiven. We're all friends. We're not gonna. We're not gonna hold grudges. We're all one, except for uh, Somer. We keep that dude in jail. Let's not talk about that. So basically, what I'm getting at here is, is that every four years, the amount of Bitcoin that the miners get to help transactions happen for people like me and my mom, right? Uh, they, we have to have miners and people using their computers for processing power to make these transactions happen. And uh, so the amount that these people get, and I believe when I send Bitcoin to my mom or my mom sends it to me or what, whatever, 
a little bit of that gets taken from us and might be given to the miners too. I could be wrong about that. Please leave in a comment if you know, but it seems like nobody likes to comment on my videos because everybody likes to watch shit and garbage. They want me to scream. They want me to do certain things. But I have a funny feeling that it's all going to turn around and people are going to start being good humans just like myself and, ever, and we shall have one together take over the world. We're going to be one with Jesus and God and Satan all together in one. Yin and yang, we're one. You can't have yin without yang, so why not just be together with both of them? Very simple. Join my cult. It's Pizza Tea. Thank you. Subscribe, like. I was on uh, Penguin Zero. I was on Mr. Beast. I was on CNN. I was on Vice. It goes on and on and on. How did I do it? I don't think anybody cares because nobody leaves comments. I can, but, I'm, but there is people that there is people that care. I have some news that I'm not going to share with you right this second, but it's really good. It's so good. I have to actually massage my back real quick. Oh my God! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Satan. Oh my. Fuck, that feels good. We'll do this later. Okay, so a, a moment from, I got to do a word from my sponsor. I don't have one, so that was quick and easy. All right, so every four years, the amount of Bitcoin that gets uh, given to the miners gets cut in half, right? So every four years, there's excessively more people that are into Bitcoin. And there's half the amount hitting the market that makes the, a supply shock thing happen with the whole network and the price goes up 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 it's just it happens every time you can look at the chart bitcoin looks like this let me see if i can get right here it's like this it's like i can't do it. it's going the opposite way i can't do that my brain doesn't work that way so i just do it goes up like that every four years and it doesn't just happen the day the halving happens it takes about six months to a year for it to have this supply shock thing happen and it goes up it's the total opposite of what happens with not just the american dollar but every dollar that's <laughs> that where they pr they keep printing more okay and in, in that case it makes the value of it go down the way bitcoin works more people involved every four years the amount gets less and less and there's only going to be 21 million of them ever and so the price keeps going up and up we're about five months away from the next bitcoin having um bitcoin what happens is bitcoin will go up we now we got like argentina talking about having to be a, a currency whole countries are adopting it uh you, it, the, no solar flare don't listen to in my opinion do not listen to elizabeth warren she is a horrible human being in in my opinion should be put in prison for life for claiming to be a native american of the most probably the most abused well, i want to say the most abused because the super abused culture and people ever lost it all basically right except no I, uh, so Elizabeth Warren, she said she was Native American and she was stupid enough to do a DNA test to find out she wasn't. And she was like given like money for college or something. I don't know. Do do some research. So basically a uh, Bitcoin is the opposite of like, so it's the opposite of the US dollar. And it's a great thing. You know, like, like who's to say what we can and cannot use to barter with? Why should we be forced to use something that we don't have any control over and the money gets sent over to kill other people and like we don't even get to express our opinions on it you know we could be shut down you know so uh the solar flare idea that you're going to lose all your money because of a solar flare that's stupid because if a solar flare has just never happened from what i know of it only happened half the planet it's not like the solar flare would just go around the whole freaking earth and if that's the case it would just kill us all everything would be gone the banks everything it sounds like some y2k nonsense so um, I just want to let you know that I'm 1,000% for Bitcoin. And as the U.S. dollar just keeps getting becoming a, a dollar of death, not just to the people that use it because their pocketbooks are now experiencing death-like symptoms, it's the funding, it, it funds a bunch of military nonsense when we should not be blowing anybody up. We're, that's barbaric. We're beyond that as a species. As a species now, we should be teaming up, all religions, all non-religions, everybody should be teaming up to focus together. And it's kind of hard to focus when people actually think we landed on the moon, right? Do you think we landed on the moon? I can explain in great detail why I believe it just never happened. We need to stop the lies. The internet's telling you uh, the dollar is only infl inflated or whatever, 3% last year. You know that's a lie. You know that's not true. 
It's the first thing the internet does. The internet is now, it, the internet is a beautiful thing, but it's also now being used to push propaganda. That's all I want to say today. Please like and subscribe, and have a great day, and enjoy this video I made, where Tupac uses a lot of these words that I totally approve of. Go for it. Tupac. Hey, 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 everybody! My name is Tupac. Go, go. And I'm coming from Los Angeles, California, city of angels Let me tell you guys today, I'm so excited Happy as fuck, fuck. nigga thug as fuck to be alive With my nigga Pizza T Sharing this amazing glory, super and exciting Moment in my life with all the bitches and hoes for reals, nigga Sending love out to all the fakest niggas and Harry Potter Alright, peace out, have a great night Please like and subscribe, and I'll tell you why